Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be testing out the 3 star version of Cersei. And Cersei is a pretty decent champion as well, like Icarus. And we got the 3 star version at SIG 99. And it doesn't do much, it's only for the regen, but we're going to test that out. And yeah, the only synergy that we're using is with Invisible Woman, we gain plus 60 block proficiency, which is nothing too crazy for transmutation buffs but yeah why not throw that here then we're using the Nick Fury synergy with Deadpool and Quake for some help because she's not immune to anything so let's see so basically what you want to do is activate the glancing and you activate the glancing if you get hit with more than 120% of the opponent's attack or by using your heavy attack and we're just gonna throw that here and we want to finish our combos with medium attacks and now we consumed one of those transmutation buffs to get the the true damage or to extend the true damage because you are getting it but you just extend it if you got one of those now we're gonna stay away from him Throw the SP1, gain the unblockable buff, and get a stun as well. So if you throw the SP1 while you are far away from the opponent, they are stunned after the SP1. And now we're gonna throw the SP2, consume those transmutation buffs into Puries, and finish this guy off. So that was pretty nice. We wanted to activate the SP1 there because Hulk has a lot of physical resistance and with that true damage, man. So nice. It ignores everything. And now let's fight this symbiote. So that's what I like doing. I like using the SP1 to get the true focus and then throw another SP1 while we are far away from him. And it will be unblockable as long as you have one transmutation buff. And then it's gonna stun and refresh your true damage buff. But yeah, with the mediums, while the glancing is active, you gain two while you finish the medium. And let's activate the true damage again. Perfect. Glancing is on cooldown, so we're just gonna... So yeah, you can see some of the transmutation buffs are indefinite. So let's see. Throw the SP1. It's unblockable. Connects. You can go with the medium medium. And then do another fighting combo if you want to. And now this guy should be dead with 11 furies. Almost. Almost there. Finish him off with that beautiful heavy attack. That's actually a very nice place. Oh, what happened there? That was a very, very nice fight. The first and the second, very nice fights. We can actually heal from that Captain America with the fatigue. If we hit him in the block, probably gonna try to. Nice, okay. Now I think we're gonna throw like an SP2 while we are far away from the defender. So that you guys can see, can see what it does. So it should be unblockable here. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's a lifesteal, which is not too crazy. It's like 5% of the damage you deal, but it's a, a nice bonus. We're gonna see that again. I think we're gonna pay attention, attention to the healing. So let's let's see here. Oh, we were far away. I dashed right there. That was that was my bad. But let's finish him off. The furies are really nice. But yeah, that that, that life still wasn't like crazy. So you gain five percent of the damage you deal, but you also consume your transmutation buffs. For an additional 3%. So, we're just gonna sh skip the <laughs> magic fight because I don't think it's gonna go well. Let's just do it with Nick Fury. Game is pretty, pretty buggy. You can see the background there. Pretty weird. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty, pretty funny. Okay, let's go for Ronan here. 
So yeah, I think like Icarus takes longer to ramp up, but Cersei is very quick with the Furies. And yeah, I feel like they got pretty good damage, both of them. Oh, let's get some transmutation buffs and the combos with medium and quickly throw the sp2 and see how much we can get okay let's stay away from him and let's see now 80 percent okay we got four percent hp mm, that's not too crazy and we had like 11 transmutation buffs so your life steal is not not good but I guess if you have like a power shield node, it could be very useful. Now let's use that unblockable while you're far away. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. And they actually connect too while you're far away from them. It's pretty nice. So they just, they don't whip. That's pretty nice, man. But I think we're going to use the SP3 this fight. Can try to. Oh, it's the symbiote actually. So with the SP3, you apply incinerates based on how many transmutation buffs you have. And I want to see the damage that it can do. The maximum is 25. So you always want to activate the glancing. And also that's pretty nice because you take like less damage. Didn't we fight that team build already? But yeah, that power gain you saw is whenever the fury expires or a transmutation buff, I think. We gain a power gain. It's from your signature ability. ability. So yeah, if a glancing or a fury expires, you gain attack. Let's see the incinerate damage here. That was a pretty nice SP3. Oh, so we only apply one? That's weird. I'm gonna read that again, actually. And let's finish him off with BSP2. 10 Furies. So you gain one Fury and then additional Furies for each transmutation buff. But the SP3, it says that you inflict an additional incinerate debuff for each transmutation buff. Yeah, didn't we have any transmutation buffs? Hmm. Oh, it's for each... Oh, so you don't want to use it at, at first. So it's for each transmutation buff you consume throughout the fight. So let's say you use like an SP2 to convert the transmutations to Furies. Then you're going to throw an SP3. So maybe we actually do that in the Maestro fight. If we survive, because there's heal block there. And we're going to be dying slowly from the poison. But yeah, let's actually use this rotation again get the true damage and then nice power gain stay far away from her become unblockable and stun her that's so sick man that's my favorite combo should kill her the crits ah so close Is this the Iron Man fight now? Maybe we do that in the Iron Man fight because he's got a lot of region. So probably gonna use an SP2, get the Furies. And if he has enough health, we're gonna throw another SP2 and see, but I don't think he will. So you gain additional transmutation buffs if an armor up triggers. And Iron Man can trigger armor buffs, so that's pretty nice. Get a bunch of those. There we go. No. Can we get 15? Yes, we can. 15 here is the maximum you can get. Wow. Dude, this guy is dead. <laughs> that was insane. For a three star. Dude, he destroyed that Iron Man. Wow. Okay, so I actually want to test out the lifesteal when we have the Furies active. So we're going to fight Winter Soldier after and see how it goes because, wow, that damage was very interesting. 
It was pretty nice because he gained armor ups too. Maybe we find a champion with armor ups. We'll see. I'm not gonna use this picture just yet. Gonna throw the heavy attack. Oh, he's gained, he gained a region. Oh, that's actually good. He activated my uh, glancing. Let's just throw it with 10. <laughs> if it caress, it's insane damage. Wow. Now we're gonna try and take out Maestro. If we get good crits, we are going to, but the heal bug is just gonna destroy us. But she's got an ability where... Okay, hold up, let me actually heal her. Oh, what am I doing? So she has an ability that says for each transmutation buff, you reduce the bleed, shock, incinerate, and heal block effects by 30%. So if you have a 3, you should reduce it by 90%. But now, I don't know if it counts for the heal block here because it's passive. But we'll see, I guess. So yeah, I don't think it counts. You can't even see it. It's bugged. Okay. Come on, don't throw it. Nice. I'm gonna actually get the true damage. So actually we can do this, stun him, and push him to the SP2. That is nice. That is very, very nice. Okay, we have to dex. Yeah, we don't have much help for parties. Oh, we got hit, but glancing saved us. That was crazy. Let's go for seven furies. Good crits. Oh, we didn't get the crit on the last one. Yeah, we're just gonna die from the heal block right here. Yeah. It's just, yeah, the heal block here. The champion is not immune to at least one. Like of the bleed and poison. We cannot do it. But it was a good try. So now we're gonna go to the Winter Soldier fight and test out the lifestyle actually when we have the 10 Furies or 15 if we can. So we're just gonna go for a different rate for different rotation. So the SP1 actually if you throw the if you throw it far from far away you refresh the true damage and the Furies. So we're gonna just have to play around with that. And see how much damage we can actually do. It's still buggy with the background. It's pretty weird. Let's activate that. Get the true damage. Consume one transmutation to extended duration. I think for nine more seconds, which is pretty nice. So we don't really care about the true damage, so we're just gonna go for heavy attack, get as many furies as we can, or transmutation. I think 11 would be nice. Alright, we're gonna get too much power. Okay, 9. Wow, that was nice damage. So, I wanna refresh those, so just stay away from him. Pop the SP2, stun him. Dude, I love that. And you can do like medium, medium, get those transmutations again. 
so nice. Stay away from him again. Refresh those Pewies. Stun him again. Now we're just gonna quickly race to that SP2. Hopefully we can get 15 Pewies. And then throw an SP1 to refresh them again. Pause them. Or sorry, refresh them. I don't think we're going to though. Come on. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. No. So we're not gonna get it. Ah, that was so close. Okay, so we're gonna try different thing. I'm gonna go just below the SP3. Oh, now he's not throwing it. Yeah, let's get eight. So nice, man. Refresh it. I don't know if we can throw this V1 now, but yeah, it's really hard if there is not a matchup with armor ups. It's really hard to refresh those. Oh, we actually did. Let's go. But now we're gonna die from the block damage. That's that's annoying. Oh no! Can't afford. Any more damage? Okay, that's like the last special we can use. Now we gotta go for an SP2 while he's far away from us. See if we can do that. And if we can actually... No, man! That's just... <laughs> that's very annoying. Okay, we're just gonna try this again. Alright, so... Let's go for a second attempt here. Now I think I know what to do. So we want to activate this. Then finish our combos with mediums. Really quickly until the glancing expires. Nice, we got seven. And now we're just going to wait out the glancing again. Perfect. Do the same thing. Pretty much. Okay, we're gonna go with 12. 10, okay. Pretty decent, I guess. Okay, good. So while you're glancing, you gain 2 of the Transmutation buffs. But now I messed up because I'm gonna lose the Furies. But see the life steal? Wow. Instantly to that full yellow bar. Love that. Perfect. We actually got a lot of those. So let's just wait out again. through that okay that was sick let's go with 11 but now let's see we have 73 HP let's see okay that was like 10% and we only crit once. Okay, now let's just test out her... How do you call it? Her regen, so we're gonna get 5 instabilities... Or no... <laughs> not instabilities. 
transmutations. And then pop the air attack and then get hit. Okay, let's get hit now. Get some regions. Hopefully we don't die though. Okay, we got hit three times. And four regen. So we healed 75% of the damage that we take. So that was good. And then now we're gonna actually see the incinerates as well. Because we have consumed a lot of transmutation buffs throughout the fight. Now we got 13, so. How much are we gonna. How many incinerates? Like 15, I think. The cap is 25, but let's see that. So I flipped him with 26. Okay, we actually can summon a lot of those throughout the fight. It's pretty sick. I think I like Cersei more than Icarus, to be honest. Her lifestyle is actually pretty nice. Let's bait this out. So we have six. So the five are the other ones you can get that are indefinite, and then the other ones are the ones expire. Oh, that's sick. The 13, let's see. Ooh! Dude, it all crit. That was so amazing. But, now we're gonna try the life steal if we can. I think we can. Okay, good. Let's see. Stay away from him. Let's hit the life steal. From 12% to 21. That's great. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Cersei. I think I love Cersei. Man, she's pretty nice. Like her her life steal is not like Claire's, but it's a very, very nice life steal. So yeah, you wanna like throw an SP2 while you are close to him so that you can get the Furies and then throw another SP2 while you are far away from him and get a big life steal. You wanna have as many transmutation buffs as you can, but do I have a 6 star champion that gains a lot of arm wraps? Like Hulkbuster gains some arm wraps? But do I have anyone else that does? Maybe a 5 star actually. So that would attack. So who gains a lot of arm wraps? Ultron gains a lot of arm wraps while hitting, hitting him in the block. So let's actually see how many transmutation buffs we can get. So we can throw an SP2. While we have like 15 transmutation buffs, it's gonna be sick. Oh, we actually used Icarus. That was that was silly. Sorry, guys. Let's go back in. Get the Ultron. Practice and then go with Cersei. So she region while you get hit is not. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a good bonus if you get hit. So let's actually get 5 before we activate the heavy attack. Perfect, he gained an armor wrap. Now we're gonna wait out the poison or evade. That was sick. 14 furies. Ooh, crit, crit. Oh, I didn't crit. Dude, the damage is insane. Let's actually throw this one from here. Oh, we didn't have any transmutation, so it wasn't a blockable. Okay. That's bad. But that's it, man. We didn't really util utilize the arm wraps, but. We had him as a 6 star, he would survive more, but it's only a rank 4 or 5 star. But yeah, overall, I think... I think Icarus is below Cersei, so Cersei, I think, is a lot better. Like, Icarus is not that suicide friendly, and yeah, she's very good. Cersei is very, very, very good. If you have some Furies, you can throw the, like, SP2 with some... Transmutation buffs. She's got a very nice lifestyle. Again, nothing like Claire's, but 
still a very very good addition but your recipe 3 isn't like Icarus so it doesn't do much and Icarus is like crazy if you have a lot of incinerates on the opponent but overall man both of those champions are really nice like they're definitely not broken like CGR Hercules or Kitty Pride but they were a very good addition to the game. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.